I'm Rick, I've been with the city for nine years. I've been in the uh, road business for probably about 25 years. This was seven stencils to put this down. So three guys doing this, and right now we can do it with one guy driving the truck. With worker shortages in the industry, an understaffed crew can get more done. Well, here we are in Columnwood, a neighborhood in Cleveland. We're repainting some really, really worn bike symbols. You can see how easy it is to do. I'm the only one in the truck doing this. You don't really need anybody to help you with the process this simple. This is a bike lane separated only by paint. Pretty straightforward, paint the symbol, put down a cone, pull forward. Now we're ready to paint. Paint that arrow which ought to be there, but is virtually invisible. So we do that, we select it, confirm, say yes, that's what I want to do. Line it up with the remnants of the old one and press the green button that says paint. Then drag the cone symbol on the screen. Now you've got paint on the road, cars are going by, and they know what to do. Put down a cone and you're done. And you're ready to drive away. Today we're in Broadview Heights, a suburb of Cleveland. We have several assignments today. We begin by repainting bike symbols along several miles of road. No need for bulky stacks of stencils. We have a complete symbol library accessible on the truck's computer. We check our work before and after painting. Good. Next, we repainted a bunch of turn lanes. Finally, we paint several school zones. The zones are painted in sections. Our symbol library has options for both one and two lane zones. The operator positions the digital stencil. It's quick and easy to go from school to a crossbar. The second half is completed in the inner of two lanes. All in a day's work and no messy stencils to scrape off. You've already got your symbol pretty much in place. If you want to adjust it any, you can either either by finger, just moving it around. Um, two fingers. Two fingers. Or even one finger. Okay. Um, two finger to two fingers to rotate. Two fingers to rotate. Or you can use like this thing, we'll raise it or lower it. Move it oh, I right got your left. Fine tuning. Yeah. Sure. And if you need to rotate it, for some reason, gotcha. you know, rotated. Yeah, it's how it's set up. The uh, view of it, perfect. Um, operating it, it's easy. You can change it, it's simple to change. And I mean, it's consistent. No matter how many you do, you can pull up the same image and they all match, they're all identical. So it makes our work look good. Painting!
In this example, we are installing a protected bike lane near downtown Cleveland. Road Prince is able to paint two separate layers in one morning. We begin with a 20-foot green box. A cyclist safely passes by the work zone. The box is painted in four five-foot sections. The green box creates a visual separation for the bike lane. We easily find the bike in our library and position it in place. We switch over to white paint and now, after a short drying period, we're ready to paint the bike symbol. Traffic is not disturbed as we work. Next, we move forward and paint a bike lane directional arrow. Another cyclist safely passes by, eager to see his new bike lane. We can mix glass beads into the paint as it is applied. No more feeding the chickens, tossing beads into the paint by hand. Notice the separate application heads for paint and beads. We also have an automated process for clearing clogs from the paint head without needing to leave the vehicle. The tip flips to allow high pressure to clear the clog. Then it flips back and re-energizes to make sure it's flowing right. A brush removes any paint stalactites. Here's an example of a clog. Select clean tip on the screen. Flush out the paint tip. Scrape any remaining residue. The robot picks up where it left off. The system also has the ability to use different kinds of paint. In this case, we're painting with some Aquatuff, a version of Dow's Duratrac, to see how well it holds up in a high traffic environment. Paint thickness is set. Minimum thickness is precise throughout painting. The main benefit of Aquatuff is its durability. This stuff outlasts thermoplastic. Here we are in downtown Cleveland, orienting city workers. It takes about a 15 minute orientation to get started. It can be picked up very quickly. City worker checks his work and is pleased with the results. It's a lot easier on your back <laughs> and, and your hand, but I'm not on the street, not bending over. I'm not in traffic, I'm not blind. So when you're painting out in the street in traffic and you bend over, you have cars coming at you, I can't see them. You guys don't understand the safety part of this. I mean, when I tell my wife that I'll be sitting in a truck and putting this down, it will make her life easier. Freeway, you got cars going really fast. When you're in the inner city, you have people that are on their phones and eating lunch and it's, they see a cone, they don't really understand that there's somebody there around that cone. So this safety-wise 
is 100% better than what we do. Well, here we are repainting some crosswalks in Cleveland's public square, the center of downtown. And as you can see, it's also a major, major terminal for bus traffic. There's a lot of pedestrian activity. There's a lot of people, a lot of construction work going on. There's all sorts of stuff happening in the square as we're there repainting these crosswalks. And believe me, those buses are not shy about crowding us. No problem. We're safe in the truck here. All we have to do is line up the markings with the section that we've already painted and we just keep going. And you can see how seamlessly it all comes out. It's really pretty simple and straightforward to get this lined up. We also use the screen to position safety cones. The cones are deployed from the safety of the cab. No boots on the ground. Very important for the safety of road workers. Here we are in Cleveland's Industrial Valley. We're about to repaint some very worn left turn arrows on the Broadway Avenue bridge over the interstate. The arrow is painted in two parts, the stem and the head. We do the stem first, then pull forward to paint the head, which locks in place. And you're in exactly the right position to do the head. The most important thing that we're offering here, besides the efficiency, is the safety and the comfort and convenience of the workers. Here a fellow is walking into the work zone, and as he enters the work zone, the robot stops. This protects pedestrians or your fellow workers accidentally entering the work zone. A LiDAR sensor detects what happens around the robot, and as he enters the work zone, the robot stops. The size of the work zone can be adjusted to the surroundings. The yellow lines show the LiDAR sensor detecting an intrusion. Once the work area is cleared, simply click the paint button and the robot picks up where it, where it left off. The number one thing with this machine is the safety. We can also put out cones without anybody being in the road. Just drag the cone marker on the screen. Here you can sit in the air-conditioned cab of the truck. It's an 80 or 90 degree day out. I'm sure the pavement's 100 degrees or more. There's no reason to be standing out there. Let the truck do the work for you. You'll enjoy it.